PeachTool.com. G'day, 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 guys. Peach Tools, great to see you here again today. Hey, I've had a few emails from you fellas that are new to my channel, want to know if I had to start welding and plasma cutting all over again, had to learn, and I wanted something easy to learn on, what would be the best machines to get from a workshop to start off with? Anyway, guys, so that's what this video is about today. I thought I'd just do a really quick video on how I'd start and what I'd do to start off with, and you already know the answer before I even start, don't you? Cheap. <laughs> anyway, guys, same as usual, if you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day at peachtools.com, and uh, let's get into it, eh? So starting with the plasma cutter guys, this is my cut 40, if you've seen any of my videos you've seen me using this all the time. I'm actually dying to buy another one, but this one won't crap out, so I'm not going to replace it unless I need to replace it if you know what I mean. But I'd buy a, a cut 40 or a cut 50, maybe a cut 50, but I'd buy a pilot arc one. Because when I brought this I didn't really know much about pilot arc and I didn't really know that I needed it at the time. But I would just buy a pilot arc now and just instead of a, an HF one like this for the simple reason that it just gives you that little bit more options of stuff that you want to do. And the price difference these days between a pilot arc and a non-pilot arc plasma cutter is very, very little. I mean, you can buy a model like this, I think a cut 50 pilot arc for about 250 bucks. So uh, yeah, I'd go to pilot arc any day of the week. Uh, you could probably still buy these for a couple of hundred bucks, but for the extra 50 bucks, I'd just get the pilot arc and uh, just to be sure. And when you're looking for your first machine, guys, make sure you're using a generic torch on the thing. Make sure it comes with a generic torch. You don't want a brand name torch because they'll rip you off for the consumables. Well, they won't really rip you off. It's just the consumables are a lot more expensive, especially if you're buying the genuine ones. And also to replace these torches here, these are as cheap as chips. You can buy one of these torches in a lead for about 50 bucks. Whereas the non-generic ones, you know, they're starting at two or three hundred dollars. Uh, the quality may be a lot better and all the rest of it. But when you're only starting to learn, you only need something like this. And then if you graduate later in a few years, you might want to update it and get something a bit flasher and th that does a bit more. But to start off with, all I wanted to do was cut steel without having the angle grinder running and the ears screeching and sparks flying down your neck. You know, because I'm funny like that. So, But uh, when I got my first plasma cutter, which was this one, I thought it was Christmas time. It was absolutely unbelievable. Going from a grinder to this, there's no comparison, guys. Once you go here, you don't go back, I'm telling you. Mind you, the grinder's got its uses as well. But just, uh, you know, just remember, this is just the one hell of a big step up from a grinder, guys. Trust me. Also guys, with your first plasma cutter, I'd get one with the torch fittings like this, and the reason I say that is because you can swap, interchange a majority of other generic plasma torches just into this machine. Even the bigger ones you can put into this machine and they'll still run. So I would only buy a torch with these fittings, but that's just my personal opinion, and I've learned over the years, and I've spent a hell of a lot of money on consumables, that this is the best way to go for me. I just want something that's going to cut my steel when I want it to cut. deformed kiwi <laughs> I don't know what's worse this side or the other side so that guy's not exactly brilliant but you get the idea right eh? it doesn't take much and you'll be cutting out shapes and all sorts of things and you try doing this with an angle grinder but you know give yourself two or three months and you'll be cutting out all sorts of things and you'll never go back trust me so like I say that's the sort of plasma cutter I'd buy if I was starting all over again cheap and just make sure it's pilot art guys so this is my MIG welder guys, I actually started when I first started with the stick welder but I found it was uh, too slow because I was building dumpsters and you had to knock the slag off all the time and I just wasn't into that sort of thing and I also had trouble with the stick welder welding thin material they call these MIG welders the glue stick of the welders because they're basically like a hot glue gun guys you pull the trigger your wire comes out like that and melts your wire into whatever you're welding and it just joins it together 
I mean, I'm not talking about high-tech welding. I'm talking about what you want to do in your workshop when you first start. You want to be able to plasma cut, you want to be able to cut lumps of steel, and then you want to be able to weld them back together. I mean, it doesn't matter if it falls to bits after 10 minutes when you're first learning, because that's how you learn, and that's how I learned anyway. So I would go for a MIG, but like I say, a lot of people start off with a stick welder. They're a little bit cheaper, and with this MIG here, I'm running CO2. But you can also get the wire that has a flux in it, like flux core wire which is this here, like this is 0.8 and it's flux cord, which is exactly the same sort of stuff as solder. See solder here, that's got a flux in it as well. You heat up your soldering iron and then you solder your components. Well, this is exactly the same, but it's designed for a MIG welder. So instead of you having to have a gas bottle and using gas, you just use this sort of wire. But this sort of wire is a bit more expensive than the normal basic wire if you're running a shielding gas with it. But I would go for a MIG any day of the week over a stick, but that's just my personal preference. When you're learning, this will stick anything together, like I say. And you don't have to go for something this big, guys. I'd start off with something like 100, 150 amp. You can get the little small compact ones that aren't much bigger than my plasma cutter. And they're cheap as well. I mean, a couple of hundred bucks you can get going. So if you've got a couple of hundred dollars for a plasma cutter and a couple of hundred dollars for a little MIG welder, you'll be up and away. You'll be making all sorts of projects in no time. Yeah! Look at that guys, the old welder glue gun. Yeah. Look at that guys, it's ugly as hell, but you get the point, eh? Anyone can learn to make a piece of cake. I mean I'm as thick as a box full of old rocks, but I can even I can do it. Yeah. So that's what I suggest anyway, guys. Just a cheap MIG welder and a cheap plasma cutter. You can cut and weld and stick shit together and do all sorts of crap. It's really good fun, guys. I love it, eh? So, guys, I hope that solves a couple of your problems. If you had to start from scratch and you didn't know how to plasma cut and you didn't know how to weld, I'll drop some links below, but these machines are available anywhere, eh? Um, I just love it. Just get into it, guys. Just don't worry about if you can do it properly or you can't do it properly. Just get into it and just try. And the only way you're going to learn is by practice. If an idiot like me can do it, you guys can do it too. Anyway, guys, have fun in your sheds. Hey, email me some pictures of some projects that you made. That'd be pretty cool. Just go to peachtools.com and just email me through there. Anyway, same as usual, guys. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day, Pete, at peachtools.com. And we'll see you next time, eh? Oh, and don't forget to check below in the description for the latest finds I've found in my dumpsters. Great finds again this week. See you, guys. Peachtools.com. Peachtools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.